Hi guys. So, as you can see from the title, you already know what this video is about. So I'm just going to start. So basically, I made the decision to quit my job today. And it was a very fast decision um, in the sense of letting people know that I was leaving, but it wasn't a very long process of actually making the decision to do it like in a long-term situation so the place that i worked at i had actually worked there for seven years and during those seven years i have met so many amazing people i got to learn so many amazing things i got to go to so many amazing places and do things that i personally i'm not gonna say i never thought i would do but i never thought a simple job like that would um let me do these opportunities and i'm not like meaning big opportunities i mean like small stuff just small stuff that you know the 19 year old me was like oh that's like a big person's thing like i don't do that so yeah um i loved my job um i actually I'll, I'll tell you like the field and so the field is retail so i actually started this retail job when i was 19 um and I never forget my first day was Memorial Day and I was so excited like I was so excited to be able to talk to people to be able to customer service to be able to just like be a part like be, have a personality like I felt like in my normal life I never really got to like got accepted or got to express who I really was but now I get to express who I really are to complete strangers and once they walk out the store they won't care anymore so you know that's why i love my job and i also love helping people so it was perfect you know what i'm saying the idea of you know having to be this this character on the floor but at the same time being able to help people two things that i love so i remember my first day i actually got um teamed up with this other girl who later i became her superior but i would never forget she would she told me she would just hide at, by the walls because people don't normally come to the walls and um i didn't want to do that i wanted to talk to people i don't get my first shift like i literally talked to every single person who walked in the door like i did not care who it was if they looked like they weren't gonna buy anything i did not care like i wanted to be the person that helped them make that decision on whatever they were doing so yeah fast forward i was there until like i went to college i came back every holiday every summer everything and eventually i got the opportunity to be um one of the leaders on the leadership team and it was probably one of the best experiences ever when it came down to being able to give feedback to a company being able to give that perspective of what is actually happening um because i had a regional manager who was very influential in the business and being able to have that ear and have that person and being able to give that person different ideas and tips even if he didn't pass it along as yours when you see certain things implicated in the store and you know it's something that you had thought of you're like oh my god like i've like contribute and um it was great like i got to do a lot of social media stuff i got to create a lot of different looks i got to create a whole um social media campaign that actually got picked up by other stores and it was such a fun experience and there was always drama because that's just whatever but i never involved myself in the drama but it was fun it was fun to also watch my store manager from my first store start as a selling lead all the way to being the store manager and running the store and being on that journey with her was so amazing when i never forget when i i'm going to fast forward the story but when i transferred to a different location my last day like i told myself i wasn't gonna cry but me and her just like sat in the back and we like just bawled because it was just like we were there with each other from the beginning and now it was like 
it's over but yeah i started there and then i moved when i moved to chicago i actually transferred stores and it was a very interesting experience because it's a whole different culture um it was a whole different set of people they I was so used to the people that I knew that now I had to learn a whole new group of people and it was probably the most difficult thing ever to learn all of their names, to learn all of their personalities, to know who jokes around and who is really serious, who doesn't like to clean the fitting rooms and who loves to stand at the door. It was, it was hard and I enjoyed every single moment of it, every single moment of it. Creating these relationships and really getting to know exactly where they fit into the equation of the store and learning how they fit into the scheduling process and learning what their strengths are and taking those strengths and applying them to the business was what I love the most about doing my job. But I just personally, I don't know. I don't know. I feel like nothing really happened. I just feel like there was a turning point in my life where I felt like it wasn't it wasn't worth it anymore um not saying the people weren't worth it it was just the environment that I was in wasn't worth it anymore for me it wasn't like worth my sanity it wasn't worth my health it wasn't worth it and I just started to feel like I was like suffocating and it wasn't like a person that was making me suffocate I feel like it was my own anxiety and my own um just my own thought process to go home every night and to think that like you're doing all of this work you're working your your butt off and you feel like you're not being rewarded for it or you feel like someone else is taking the credit for it or you just don't see like what the end result is you don't know what the end result could be and then like working for a company where you feel like they value money more than employees which makes sense like every company obviously like puts their profit before their employees but it just became an environment where it felt like it was all about money and we didn't really even matter and i just got tired of feeling like i'm out here risking my life my sanity and my mental health to make someone else rich when i can't barely even get a 50 cent raise when i'm here waking up six o'clock in the morning because an employee can't get in the door because somebody else didn't show up or me having to deal with an employee having a mental breakdown because they don't feel comfortable talking to their store manager. I felt like I was doing work that I shouldn't have been doing. And, you know, people tried, people tried to wean me away from that work. But since the work culture was not was not there like people didn't feel comfortable talking to the people that they should be talking to it put more pressure on me and honestly like i love i love all my employees i loved hearing whatever they needed to talk about and trying to figure out a way to accommodate whatever they needed but at some point when you're not getting paid enough to do that and you're not getting paid enough to like deal with all the drama and just unnecessary things that shouldn't be happening like i feel like i've been at a store where literally and the people who watch this video know exactly what i'm talking about things got bad like they got bad 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 and we still came to work every day happy happy to be there except for like two people but most people came happy to be there even when it was terrible even when it was like the most drama ever like i've been through some messed up stuff at work things that i will never speak of or throw people under the bus was because i'm loyal but i just personally feel like it was worse than what I was going through, but for some reason my mind could not fight it. And it was not like, it was not worth it. And I just kept saying to myself like, why would you want to stay somewhere that's making you unhappy, that's making you not sleep, that's making you feel like you're suffocating. Like you're not out here begging for money. You have other, other streams of income. Why are you doing this to yourself? And on top of that, you're risking your, your physical health with all the coronavirus going around. So why are you putting yourself in that position and in that situation? And you know, it took a lot of support from my friends, my family, my other coworkers and my other stream of incomes to tell me like, look Alina, you, you have talent, you're better than this. Like you don't have to do this. And you know, I felt like, I kept feeling like I had to do it 
because I was trying to stop myself from feeling scared and I've realized these last few days that it's okay to be scared it's okay to feel to have some type of anxiety but it's not okay to do something just because just because you don't want to upset people or disappoint other people or or anything for other people like you have to do this for yourself this life is your life like life is very short you can't sit here and and prioritize someone or someone's company or something because you don't want to disappoint other people and that's what I felt like I stayed for a very long time because I didn't want to disappoint the other employees I didn't want to disappoint my team I didn't want to disappoint people but I realized at the end of the day the person that I was disappointing was myself and not allowing myself to excel and part of me was sitting here thinking to myself I was about to get up give up my remote job that pays me double with this job pays me and I'm getting to do exactly what I love which is creating and marketing and everything to work at a retail store when I literally sat down and literally put it A plus B equals C, I thought, like, Alina, how stupid could you be? Like, this makes no sense. You have what you want right now. You manifested this months ago. You wanted to be at a remote job so you could be able to focus more on YouTube. You can be able to focus more on your social media. You can be able to focus more on your business. And now you have this opportunity and you're about to give it away because you don't want to disappoint people. That's crazy. Like, I was like, girl, you got to... I was sitting here like, bro, we we got to do we got to do better, girl. You know, at the end of the day, like p these people, it's not like they're dead. Like I can still talk to them. I can still communicate with them. We live in the same city. Most of them already been to my apartment. They can they know where I live. So I I'm sad. I'm sad that it's over because I really loved loved my job at at the at for most of the years that I did it I used to actually come to work an hour early and literally sit in the back and wait for my shift to start and I realized over time that I was coming late on purpose because I just wanted it to be over and I'm not gonna cry because like we're not doing that on camera but I'm sad like I'm sad that I don't even know why I'm sad I don't know why I'm upset but I just wanted to tell you guys that if you're not happy doing what you're doing, there is always a solution out. You, There's always. If you have to create an action plan, if you have to literally just drop everything and just start from the beginning, like there's nothing wrong with doing that. And you can't allow fear or other people's opinions of you stop you from doing what you want to do. And you, you can't because all it's going to do is have you stalled. I remember on my first day of my shift here when I went to Chicago, me and one of the other managers were getting on the train and we literally were talking about when we were going to leave this job. And I remember telling her, I'm thinking like a year. And to be honest with you, a year ago yesterday is the day that I moved to Chicago. And that's why words are so powerful. It's so powerful. Manifesting things into the world is so powerful because you never, ever, ever, ever know what is really going to happen and what's really not going to happen. But if you keep doing what you're supposed to be doing, doing the right things, you'll get what you want. But don't let other people in fear stop you. You can't. Because what you do is you suffocate yourself and make you feel like you are obligated to do something. The only person you have an obligation to, unless you have kids or a husband, is yourself. That's your obligation. To make yourself happy. To make yourself successful. To make yourself feel like a person. And you can't allow people to stop you. So, that's all I gotta say, guys. So... Thanks for watching. I know I was all over the place. I'm not going to edit this video because I know if I edit this video, I'm going to cry. So I'll just post it in its entirety. So I'm sorry if there's a bunch of pauses and stops and stuff. But thank you guys for watching and see you next time.